candles glitter like you're in a thriller Heart goes pump, pump, pump Ghostly figures, they can get so good And show you want to enter, you can turn back to You don't, you don't know where I've been What's going on inside Where the monsters like to come alive, come alive Do you really wanna know me? I'm really not that cozy It's up to you, so you decide, you decide Hi guys I'm not gonna introduce my vlog. Finally, we're here we're in Dubai. This was the most unplanned trip that I have had ever in my life, but we're here, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Period. so happy i thought i would be so happy when i arrived but this journey has been the most stressful trip that i have ever gone to so i think i'm still emotionally not stable but i haven't get over it anyway yeah but i mean it was stressful like i didn't plan really for this trip i never planned for it it's something that just came up so randomly so everything that i did i did like in the in the past four days i think and these days with this corona and stuff tra uh, traveling is not quite easy so journey eat trip mini if i had an option i don't think i would come but yeah it has psychologically tortured me but that i mean like my things like my tr my ticket i bought my ticket like juicy yeah so today then jana then juicy yeah nearly buy juicy yeah my ticket was like double the amount of money that i'm used to paying when i'm coming in dubai you know it was like double you know and i just had to come because i have some business to do so I cannot miss I could not miss because tomorrow tomorrow yeah tomorrow I have something really important something really important in my life to do tomorrow so I, there's no way I could miss it yeah my trip okay that was just it it started with the ticket was like double and let's go to my COVID results that is something that has tortured me my COVID results are to like it okay jana then it was then i don't know what happened it leo as in today we are in 15th so it's like 14th for delayed 14th it was to come out at four uh, the person who told me it will come out at four then at around two, I'm being told uh, at my sample has lipstick apparently. Lipstick, honey. I didn't even have lipstick the day that I was going to take my sample away. Sorry, there is, I'm just in the airport, so there is some. I'm so this is around two. I'm in Kajiado. And I took the sample in Nairobi, so I need to go and Rudia the sample. And my trip is in like around four. How many hours? Two. My trip and my journey is like I have to check in at around nine because in Kwana Toka eleven. It's a much stress. So ni impaka Nairobi when do fanyo etela sample, then. 
Yani to ilikuwa stressing. The whole situation was stressing. I even thought maybe I used the wrong, like the wrong hospital kuchukua ina nini nilikuwa nafikiria nilikoniwa actually imagine unafikiria umekoniwa and your flight is like 2 hours to ujapata sample ujapata part of covid test yako na uwezi enda mahali bila eh it was really stressful then <laughs> the last thing happened i had planned not to carry like i have travel traveling bags when i travel i mostly go with like my three bags if you know that set that comes with a big one then a medium one then they they hand luggage one then now like a handbag so i didn't want to go with all these i just wanted to travel with the large one and the hard travel and the like small one because anyway i don't know if i will be here for long or maybe i will be here for a month i'm not sure yet but i didn't plan to carry like a lot of luggage after Dona Toka when I'm just moving out from uh, my home guess what my bag ikipebwa kweko kwa gari zip katokana ikatokana sainye hata nimechelewa like natoka kajado ndo niende airport nimechelewa je maneno ya covid and stuff and say hata i don't have my results you know i don't have my results but ndo ile imeanguka zip zimetokana ah my friend i cried i was like god if you didn't want me to go to this place why did you even make me go this far i have paid, paid for the plane like double the price i have already paid for like my visa i have like see what to imagine no it's really tortured me but all in all it gives me like some kind of a hope that what i came to do here is going to succeed so yeah all in all i thank god that i'm here it has been a good it has been a good like flight but a lot of turbulence is here it was shaking a lot this flight was shaking but it was really quite too sour I thank God to Kohaba. I've arrived. Right. I'm waiting for someone to pick me up. Then I go sleep and wake up. Go do whatever brought me here. Well, enjoyment, honey. There's no way I could book a flight then go back the next day. Because yeah, whatever I'm coming to do is just for tomorrow. So the rest of the day, <laughs> enjoyment, honey. <laughs> Now get. So yeah, it's like a vacation to me. You know why I have I you know why I didn't have uh, I nearly make sure I sit around the home like kesho kuta, you know? Because whatever I'm doing is tomorrow. So I made sure that I'm going to stay here for some quite a while because I had planned for a trip for my birthday on April 7th. And I wanted to really go to Zanzibar. This was like my This was my plan. I wanted to go to for a vacation in Zanzibar for like my birthday and stuff. Just for a week or something. But now you see things happen. So whatever money I saved for my birthday is not going to happen. So I'm here in Dubai, so I have to enjoy here. And baby, when I say I enjoy, I do enjoy. <laughs> so yeah. We are here. Cannot wait to finish tomorrow. What brought me here? I just hope it's it's gonna be successful. So if it's gonna be successful, I'm probably gonna be staying here for quite a while. If things just don't work out as I planned, then in a month's time I will be back home. So either way, I have a month for just relaxing and stuff. The person who was coming to for to pick me is still not here. I don't know why he's delaying. Uh, so guys, see you on the next video. You can see someone is at the back of me.
Bye. See you. See you. See you. you see me? I really talked so much, but it's really just refreshing to just stay here and whine. Just talk about everything of everything about how I feel. Honestly, I have never traveled and felt this way, you know. You don't want to feel too. But it means that what I'm going to do tomorrow is going to succeed. Inshallah. I just pray. Yeah. Such a torture. When I tell you it was a torture, this journey it was. Because I've traveled and I've never experienced such advice. If, okay. I do plan for this, but just some small, small advice. Don't plan for random trips. Hey. <laughs> Maybe you have someone to like take care of everything. But if you're taking care of everything, like with this corona, especially with these new regulations, you know, just don't plan it random. It can fail you. It can really fail you, really. But on in all, I'm grateful for being here. See you. Bye.